this tutorial, I'm going to talk about a couple different ways that you can attach PDFs to your references in EndNote. The easiest way is to use the Find Full Text search. To do this, you'll first need to set up your preferences. From the main menu in EndNote, go to Edit, then Preferences. Check all the available options, then fill out the open URL path and the URL to authenticate with. In the description of this tutorial, I've posted the text so you can easily copy and paste them into your EndNote preferences. If you want, you can automatically invoke Find Full Text on newly imported references by choosing the last text box. When you're all set with that, go ahead and click OK. Next, choose the references you wish to find the full text for. You can choose individual references by holding down the control key and clicking each one you wish to find the reference for. If you want to choose all the references, you can select Control A or Command A if you're using a Mac. From here, you can choose the Find Full Text icon at the top of the screen, or you can use the text menu and go to References and Find Full Text here. You can see on the left menu, the EndNote is searching for the PDFs. And you can see in the results, they will either show up as found PDF, found URL, and sometimes it might say that it wasn't found at all. So for the two that they found the PDF for, you can see that they now have a um, little clip icon next to it. So that way you know um, within your references whether there is full, te um, full text PDF is attached. If just a URL is found, nothing will be appearing. So I'm just going to click into one of these references where the PDF was found so you can see what that looks like. All right. So from the screen, you can see at the top that there is the PDF as well as the name of the PDF. I'm going to close out of this. To close out of this menu, I'm just going to go to the little X that is showing up in this window and um, select that. So if a PDF is not found, what do you do? Go ahead and download a PDF to your computer and then you can attach it to the reference. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. Say I want to find the PDF for this article. All right, what I'm going to do is copy the title of the article. I'm going to find it in Articles and Books. To do that, I'm going to paste the title of the article right into the main search bar. And then I'm going to Full Text Online. And I'm going to download the PDF from here. All right, so now I'm going to go to where this has been saved on my hard drive. All right, so this is the file that I want. It's in my downloads folder. I'm going to go back to EndNote. And this is the reference that I want to attach that PDF to. And here I can see that um, attached PDFs is blank, but I can click on this little clip over here and attach the file. So um, it's going directly to my downloads, which is good. Um, and I will have to navigate to where that is. And I'm just going to change this to details so that I can sort this. Makes it a little bit easier to find. And I know this is the file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you can see that that file is now attached to the reference within EndNote. So now that you have PDFs that are attached to your references, um, EndNote does have some options that you can actually mark them up within EndNote. So there are options to add sticky notes. So you can add notes to that text. Um, you can highlight text. Um, 
You can underline text. And you can even cross out text. And if you want to delete any of these, you can go ahead and just click on it. And you can see there's a little box that's appearing around that item. And hit delete on your keyboard. And I'll delete that. And oops, there we go. Now it's selected. And I'm going to delete that last underline. And I'm going to close this out. OK, so here is that menu where it says changes will be lost if you don't save them. Um, so if I don't want to see this message again, I can go ahead and click uh, Do Not Display. And um, the default will always be to save. So I will click. I was just going to click No. All right. And now, since I've manually uploaded that, the paperclip is now appearing next to that reference. And that is how to work with PDFs within EndNote.